Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add materials and textures to game objects in the scene. All right, so you need to first create two game objects in the scene. If you don't know how to do that, check out my other video. All right, so once you have two objects in the scene or how many objects you want, you go to create and create a folder. Call it materials and then duplicate the folder. I'm using Command D. Or you can go up to edit and do duplicate and then do textures. These are empty folders and so nothing in them right now. Go back to material, right click, create a material, and we'll name it red and then pick the color red up here all right and then duplicate the material I'm using command D or actually I'll do it the other way edit duplicate pick green And then go to the red box and change it to a green color. Okay. Now go to your cube. And to change its material, you go to material. Or is it right here? Element zero. Click the tick mark. And this will pop up. And then you just click the color. Go to the other cube and do the same thing. I'll give you a second to try it out before I do it. All right. You go to default material element zero and the mesh renderer. Click the tick and then find your color. That's pretty much how you add materials to game objects. Now you have a bunch of shaders, but I'm not going to get into that. All right, so you, say if you wanted to add a texture of grass or we'll do a, a stone or something. So go to the, your internet and go to Google and uh, type in seamless, you want to use seamless textures, seamless rock texture. View image, save the image as whatever you want to. Go back to Unity. Click on textures, the folder that you made. Right click, go to import new asset. Find the downloaded file. That's gonna load up your texture for you. Now you wanna go to texture type. Since we're not using sprites or UI right now, just make it a regular texture and you'll notice down here that the texture size that you downloaded was 1024 by 1024 and right here it's 2048 so it's kind of big so you want to click the right size when you can and we'll just leave it as compressed right now just click apply all right I guess I'll show you this. You see how it says 0 0.7 megabytes? You can make that file smaller by clicking in a smaller size. Now it's 170.7 KB, and that helps with your optimization and stuff with your game. So that's one cool trick. Now you just go to a cube. 
Now, I think you can drag onto it. Yeah, you can do it that way. And yeah, it makes a material for you called rock. But say you didn't, you want it to know how to make another material. And the, the proper way to do it is to create a new material. All right, let's create a material for, for the rock texture. Do a material, we'll name it rock texture. You have to go to uh, Legacy Shader Diffuse and you'll see this image box. You can click on it and add your texture image. And then you just go to your cube and you change the material from green to rock texture. And that's pretty much how you add textures and materials to things without having to code anything. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you.